Crackalackin' folks, firebro 9 9 here. Welcome back to more Mario & Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. In the previous episode, we finally found Tails, and now we're back in the Tokyo 1964 game. Sonic had to chase Eggman, and he somehow outran a bullet train, which was pretty impressive. But now we're playing as Mario here, and we're gonna have to make our way to the Sumida River. I think Bowser's down here, and we're gonna deal with him at some point. Mario! I figured out where to find Bowser! Oh? He's on a boat somewhere in the Sumida River! I think he's trying to get as far away from you guys as he can! Oh, there he is. I think it is him. Oh, yep. Look at him in that green speedboat. Ain't no way. Oh my god! You're going after him by boat too, aren't you? Make sure you don't get hit- Uh, make sure you don't hit any other boats on the river! Yeah, I'll make sure about that. I don't want to do that now, because I see there are some people I need to talk to and some trivia I need to get. So here's Pixel Mario trivia. Sometimes there will be trivia about the characters and not um, the events or the Olympics themselves. So when did Mario make his worldwide game debut? That would be 1981, right? Yes. Mario was first in a, uh, introduced in an arcade game with 2D pixel graphics. He was only 16 pixels tall, and 16 pixels wide. See, I know my Super Mario trivia. There are many bridges across Sumida River. I think it would be fun to take a, a boat cruise and see the bridges from below. I love taking boats around the river. The wind feels great, and it's the perfect little journey to refresh the mind. I lost count of all the bridges spanning Sumida River. It's a treat to see Tokyo while traveling along its rivers. Oh, we got some new trivia here. On the Sumida River, there's a bridge that can do something amazing. It can open up at the middle, and uh, the end of each piece rises into the sky. That way, ships can go through. What's the name of the bridge? Uh, Kachidoki Bridge. It hasn't opened up since 1970, because now the big ships go a different way, and little ships go just right under. Interesting. Beep, beep. Flicky says nothing is more refreshing than going for a jog along the river. It's nice that these toads can uh, decipher what all these animals are saying. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and chase Bowser now. This is gonna be a mini game. So chase Bowser's boat and beat him to the goal. Go for the best time and complete the mini game as fast as I can. All right, tilt to move, A to accelerate, B for turbo. Um, oh, we can overheat, okay. Tilt left to raise the front of the boat as if you were doing a willy. Huh. Hitting cheap cheap or boats will slow you down. Performing a boat willy while hitting a wave will cause you to jump. Oh, okay, so that's why you should will. I was about to say, what what is the benefit of it? If Bowser's boat reaches the goal before you, the game is over. Okay. So perform willies on little wave spots. Avoid cheap cheaps and turbo when I have enough energy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure this out. This might take a few tracks. I don't know. All right, ready, go! Oh, I see now. Okay, I see. You don't want to overdo it. Okay, yeah, doing a willy actually gives you, like, a lot of, um, launch distance when you can. I see Bowser doing turbos, too. Okay, let me be careful, though, because I'm actually losing a lot of, um, Ooh, a lot of temperature by doing that. We're gaining a lot of temperature, I mean. That makes more sense. I'm not timing my willies correct. Oh, and I can bounce off the cheap cheeps. Okay. Very cool. Bam. Okay. There were definitely some parts where I got hit, and I missed a few wheelies, but it seems like I did all right. 
You did it, Mario! I can't believe you caught up to Bowser. Your skills are a sight to behold. Bowser's gotta know he can't escape from you now. With that kind of speed and skill, it's never gonna happen. Hey, I can hear you. Are you saying that specifically so I can hear it? <laughs> oh. Yeah, Toad, you gotta be careful. If that's what you think, you try chasing after me next time. He kind of got you on that one, Toad. You're not even playable, bro. <laughs> Eek! Mario, what should I do? I made Bowser really mad. Sometimes you just gotta shut it, buddy. I might be forced to chase Bowser. I don't think I can catch him the way you did, Mario. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Oh, he's escaping. Are you telling me to give it a try? No, no, I can't. I wish Sonic were here to help. We don't need him. He's right here. Look, now that I think about it, I wonder how things are going for Sonic. I'm kind of worried. Sonic's fine. He's capable. Yep, he's gone because we got distracted again. What is it, Mario? Bowser escaped again because everybody keeps getting distracted and not keeping their eye on the enemy. Huh? You're right! Bowser is gone! Oh, there's Sonic. Mario! Eggman got away! How'd things go with you? Oh, that mother trucker escaped me! Mario caught up with Bowser, but he slipped away when we weren't looking! What? Man, those guys really gave us the runaround. They're probably meeting up somewhere right now. We know they're after the gold medals. We might be able to find one, uh, find them at one of the Venus. Oh yeah! Alright, we can now play that minigame whenever we can. Alright, okay, so now we're playing as both Mario and Sonic, so it seems like we're gonna be together for the rest of the run. But also, now that I was thinking about it during the, um, whole interaction with Toad and Bowser, about how Toad wouldn't be capable of catching him, I noticed that Toad really isn't playable in these games for some reason. Toad seems like an obvious choice for a playable character, but for some reason he's just not playable in these. Toadette's playable in like one of these games as like a guest character, but I don't think Toad's ever been like playable in a Mario and Sonic game. That's weird. Correct me if I'm wrong. There are many bridges across Sumida River. I think it would be fun to take a boot cruise and see the bridges from below. We can go to a new venue. Let's check it out. Oh, okay, we've already, oh, we've already talked to all the computers here. Mario, I had no idea you were such a boating expert. You should teach me sometime. All right, seems like everybody else uh, we've already talked to before. I thought this was like a whole new area that opened up and I missed it completely. So we can go to the Tokyo Metropolitan Gym, it seems. That's where it wants us to go. So let's go. Oh, they're right here, literally both of them. Oh, Bowser got a gold medal! Uh-oh. Who did he beat? Oh, did it leave us at a cliffhanger? Oh, <laughs> we're on a new chapter here. Chapter 5, The Lost Game System. <gasps> did they actually lose it? Whoa! Whoa. It looks like Sonic and Mario were competing with Eggman and Bowser inside this game system. Huh? Competing? Come again? Well, the system's called Tokyo 64, right? Oh yeah. Oh, I get it. It's based on the Olympic Games, so they must be having fun with all kinds of events. It seems hard to believe that they'd be taking the situation that lightly. I can't really imagine why they'd be competing in the Olympic Games like that, though. Uh-oh! Hey! You guys thought you could play games and keep it a secret from me? That's how they lose it. Oh, no. No one's allowed to have fun like that without me! I'll be taking this game! Thank you very much! No, your dad's in there! Wait, what? Dad's trapped inside it! What are you talking about? Oh, I get it. They put him in as a playable character. That's a good way to look at it. No way he'd okay that. That's right, 
<laughs> it's rights infringement. He's gonna get Koopa Triple Eagle and bring the thunder. That's a thing? No, that's not it. Luigi's telling the truth. Mario, Sonic, and Eggman are all trapped in it too. Huh? So the game's based on some past Olympic games? Guess that explains why the graphics look so blocky. Yeah, that was before your time, Junior. <laughs> okay then, I'll go be a detective and figure out if you guys are trying to trick me. I'll go somewhere you can't bug me and look into it, so I'll be taking this with me. No! Guys, you are stronger than him. There were four of you! Well, this sure is a pickle. Ugh! He can't just go around taking stuff from people! Let's hurry up and chase him! Yeah, we gotta find Bowser Jr. and get the system back! Maybe he ran off to another venue. Let's start by checking the sites closest to us. But I heard some places you need a pass to get into. So first, let's go find ourselves some venue passes. In that case, what if we went looking for people who have passes? Yep. Guess so. Alright, Tails has joined. Tokyo 64 has been taken. Alright. Where did Bowser Jr. go? How about we go and try to find somebody with the pass? Alright, let's check out uh, Tails' bio. A kind, twin-tailed fox kid. He could spin his tails to fly through the air, and his engineering talent helps Sonic on his adventures. I like Tails. I wonder why the Sonic fans clown on him. I don't know. Not all Sonic fans do that, but there have been like times where I would see like tier list of characters and people would call him mid. I mean, to be fair, I haven't played most of the games, but he seems like a good, good, kind-hearted fellow. I think what one thing that hurts is probably because Sega doesn't really market him that much. Like, you see Sonic 2 and 3. Well, Sonic 2 is supposed to be Tails' like, big appearance, but even then, I'm pretty sure Knuckles overshadow him in that. I don't know. But let's just go to the Tokyo 2024. I mean, 2020 map, not 2024. It's Paris this year, but there's no Mario and Sonic game this year, unfortunately. Oh, he's literally here in the Tokyo Tower, so let's check that out. Watch him not even be here. Famous Tokyo Tower. I didn't take the stairs, obviously. The elevator all the way for me. In Tokyo Tower, 250 meters up is a floor called the Top Deck, but it had a different name before it was uh, before 2018 when it was renovated. The old name was Special Observatory. Oh, there are so many. Look at these shy guys getting vending machine snacks. I'm not a fan of heights. Tokyo Tower was completed in 1958, so it was already here during the Tokyo 1964 games. Ciao, ciao! Hi, Omachao. Tokyo Tower's top deck used to be called the Special Observatory. Oh, I just learned that. <laughs> Such a great view! What's going in? That's how I assume shy guys would talk. Tokyo Tower is 333 meters tall. It's a nice, easy uh, number to remember. True. All right, so I think we're gonna, just gonna talk this over here. Look at these guys. I guess, and that's some kind of snack bar. I don't know. Hey, Silver, Tails, Luigi, did you come? Uh, did you all come to Tokyo for a little sightseeing? No, we're actually looking for Bowser Jr. We're pretty sure he went to one of the events, but we don't have entry passes to get into the venues. You're looking for passes? You should have asked me earlier. Oh, he ran out. I had passes for the Tokyo Aquatic Center and the Iomi Urban Sports Park. Had? I climbed up Tokyo Tower earlier and it seems I dropped my passes somewhere. So I don't have them anymore. Sorry. Dang. But if you happen to come across them, you're welcome to keep them. Really? I never break a promise. All right then, we'll find them for sure. Is this the minigame? Oh, get the entry pass at Top Tokyo. 
I remember one of these having like really bad controls. I think this is the one. Scale Tokyo Tower and obtain the pass at the top before time runs out. Gripping, uh, tilt the left stick to set the direction of your next jump, then press A to jump. While in midair, you can. Oh yeah, it's this one. Springs are safe and launch you in a set direction, but watch out for bumpers. Oh, this is the one I struggle with during my first playthrough. Oh. All right, let's see how we go. Well, let's see how we do, I mean. Maybe it's not as bad as I remember. Oh, <gasps> that scared me. I thought I was done. Okay. I'm going this way. Forget that other stuff. Oh, that wasn't enough. Okay. Oh, damn it. The spring. Oh, okay. It wasn't as bad as I remember. I I did remember not liking that back then, though. All right, next we did get the passes, so that's good. We can actually do an event for the episode. I was worried we wouldn't be able to do one this episode because we're running out of time. Cool, we got the passes, so you don't mind if we take them, right? Do as you like with them. Also, I'm coming with you. It sounds like things are pretty serious. <laughs> All right, we got Silver. Silver seems like a cool character. I don't think I've played any games that uh, starred him though. You can now play Tower Climb in the game room. All right, cool. Uh, seems like everything here. If you need help, let me know. All right, let's check his bio. A hedgehog from a devastated future. He is always positive and has a strong sense of justice. His powerful psychokinesis can move big objects as well as allow him to levitate. Man, these hedgehogs are built different in Mobius, bro. I'm telling you. How are these lads so powerful? Tokyo Aquatic Center. I know I talked about not being able to do events, but I'm actually running low on time because I actually have something to do in a minute. So I'm sorry we weren't able to do any events today, but we got a few mini games out the way and we got Silver on the squad. So we'll probably be playing as him soon. If you guys loved watching this episode of Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, make sure hit that thumbs up button, comment down below your thoughts on the video, become a channel member and view future episodes earlier before everybody else. And with that, I will see y'all next time. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time.